Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk all about chaga. What is chaga? How do you find it? And how do you use it? It's probably the number one question I've had lately. So if you want to know about this amazing fungus that's found on birch trees, stay tuned. Look at this nice specimen. This here is that's chaga. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful example of chaga, what it looks like on the tree. It really looks like it's burned or something, you know? It's, that's a gorgeous piece of chaga. Now in order to find chaga, you've gotta be in the northern latitudes. It doesn't grow in the south. So northern parts of North America, Siberia, Alaska, Canada, that's where you're gonna find chaga. You, you wanna look for old, mature birch trees, sometimes dead or diseased and dying. And that's where you're gonna find chaga. Now I'm standing here in this forest and I'm seeing it absolutely everywhere right here. So let me show you what I'm looking at. So we've got a bunch of old birch trees here and chaga is abundant. There's some there and uh, there's a huge bunch of chaga and that birch tree there. Some chaga that's actually reachable right here. I'm gonna get my knife out. You're gonna wanna have a hatchet, an ax, because it is definitely gonna be on the tree really good. But there it is. Beautiful Northern Michigan chaga right there. A lot of times chaga is completely out of your reach. You look up in a tree and see beautiful bunch of chaga it's way up there so you got to keep looking for the stuff you can reach I'm seeing a lot of chaga not seeing a lot I can actually reach gorgeous gorgeous cedar balsam forest here absolutely wonderful and key to this is good old birch trees that have been around a long time and that's definitely where you're gonna find chaga. But look at this beautiful, this beautiful forest. It's just awesome. I'm in an, a fairly old forest. Got a lot of these big uh, old birch, got hemlock, pine, and I'm in northern Michigan. So this is a perfect place to find chaga, but you've got to find these old, big, sometimes dead or diseased birch trees. That's where you're going to find chaga. So that's what we're looking for today. And there's Maisie. She's helping me. Wow. That's a really really cool looking fungus right there on that birch tree. I've never seen anything like that. It's very beautiful. Isn't that something? Look at that. So pretty. Huh. Very cool. Nothing up there. I'm seeing the kind of birch trees I, I do like to see. Find in Chaga. Uh, I see some over here. Let's go take a look. This tree here, this tree here definitely has the look of stained, the staining that you'll see that results from chaga, but I don't see any growth, uh, anything to take off here. So no go. I know one thing to keep in mind is not to get lost. I can go on foraging missions and I get really focused on what I'm looking for and I don't pay attention to where I'm at. And uh, it'd be easy to get turned around in here. So I really need to pay attention where I'm going. I could always follow my footsteps back, but I just need to pay attention in here. So lots of good birch trees I'm checking out. So I'm just gonna keep looking. Look at guys this hemlock in here. Oh, they're just gorgeous trees. Oh, love it. 
Oh, it's such a pretty snowy day. This just gives me energy. Yeah. Let's jog it right there. That is too. Sweet. Now that is no doubt that that is chaga. See how golden it is inside? On the outside it'll be black, inside gold. That's a good piece of chaga. There we go. See the outside is all, it looks like when, it, when you find it, it's like a growth on the tree and it looks like it's uh, been burned. And that is exactly sitting on the tree what it looks like. Now, because of the fluctuating temperatures we've, ha we've had, there's a bit of ice on here. And then, uh, it's hard to tell, but I break into this and it's gonna be gold, so. Let me show you that. That's, that's what it looks like. That one looks a little different on the inside. But yeah, that's Chaga. I got treats in my bag. She just had her nose in there. <laughs> Twirl. High five. Oh, let's try that again. High five. Good girl. You do falcon. Good girl. She's a falcon. <laughs> all right, that's all for now. Carry on. Yeah, and I want you to notice this tree that we just took the chaga off, it's dead. Okay, here's some. Right here. This is definitely chaga. And that's the kind of tree I'm looking for, really old. There's a little bit more chaga right there. But uh, a lot of times it protrudes like that. And another clue is, you know, if you stand back and look, there's darkness where when the rain hits, you know, it washes, it washes that dark stain from the chaga down the tree and you can pick them out from a ways away. There's another piece right there. It's nice when you can find them and you can get to them. That's very, <laughs> very nice. Out there looks just like the other one from the other spots so that was definitely chaga too so yeah this is good see how gold that is that's it's definitely what you're after that's chaga there might be some more That's all chaga right there, too. I think a piece just went <laughs> right there. What I'll do is just look around the ground when I'm, when I'm done here and pick up all the pieces. Now, now if you're dealing with a live tree, you don't want to take all the chaga. But if it's a dead tree, I mean, no harm. Harvest as much as you want. So, that's a good haul from that one. That's pretty cool. Ah, 
Oh, winter is finally here. Yes. If you look at this birch tree here, follow it up. There's the nice piece of chaga. Real nice big chunk, huge. And too high to reach. That's pretty typical. Or you find it up high where you can't reach it. Oh. I can't get it. Right, the thing a lot of people wonder about is how do you use the chaga? Well, I'm a minimalist. I think you don't need to process it at all, really. I just put some water in a tea kettle and then I just throw the chunks in. That's all I'm gonna use for this teapot. And I'll be able to use these pieces in this teapot over and over and over again. Um, a lot of people say ground it up, whatever. You don't need to. Just put it right in your tea kettle. And what we're looking for is when you just bring it to a nice slow simmer, it'll turn and look like coffee. So it's a really dark tea. And the darker it is, the stronger it is. So you can let it steep longer. When you drink this whole kettle, you just add more water and, and simmer it again. There's really nothing to it. I don't process my chaga at all. I put it in chunks, I reuse it over and over the water will eventually just start to lighten up and lighten up and then you just know it's time for new chaga. Dump that chaga out, put some new pieces in, and a new pot. Doesn't matter what size of teapot you got, so throw some chaga in and steep it. That's what I'm gonna do. Chaga over fire in the woods, it's the best. Just gonna put it right next to the fire here. Oh, does that ever feel good? And let it steep. And I'm just going to sit down and enjoy the scenery. Get a cookie for me and a treat for Maisie. I'm going to have a cookie. All right, guys, let's take a look at our chaga. Oh, I think we're good to go. That looks delicious. Could be a little darker. It's just a matter of uh, brewing it a little longer. But you want it to be like coffee. Oh, I'm ready for tea. Oh, it's just so good. just so nice to sit out here with a fire. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below, and as always, 
Hit that button and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so excited. It's winter. Scar in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get hopper.